I'm going to be showing you the HDMI out capabilities of the dev kit. So the dev kit has an HDMI out port here, but it turns out this isn't actually HDMI. See this here? HDMI doesn't fit. What this actually is, is mini HDMI, which I gotta be honest, I did not know existed until after I got my dev kit. So, um, I had to go out and buy a <laughs> mini HDMI cable, but here we are. So, now it will actually fit. And there you go, now as soon as I plug it in, the um, sound stops. So I'm gonna turn on this TV. And you see, we've got the output here. So I'm gonna start a game. We can see how all this works. Try to hold this back so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I died. But as you can see, that is the HDMI out. Now, I would try these two games, but I can't evolve Grand Cartridge. So, I'm just going to show you these um, other two modes of doing this. So, if you go into a neighborhood, and it's the only way I know to change these settings. Couldn't find an option for them anywhere in debug settings. So, yeah, let's go tablet settings. Now, I'm gonna scroll down to if I can find it. Here, development environment settings. You've got um, a few options. So, resolution 720p scaling full. So, um, you can change this to the few options here. So, we've got 480p. Scaling full, 720p scaling real, and 720p scaling 960 times 544. So first I'm going to do um, 480p scaling full, and then click apply. And then in order for these things to actually apply, you have to remove the cable and then plug it back in. 
And we did here, there you go, that's 480p scaling full. And as you can see, power of the console is cut off. You see over there with dev mode, power of that's cut off. So, wouldn't recommend using this mode, but it is there. Um, so, next I'm going to try... Is 720p scaling real? And now and now I'm going to unplug the HDMI and then plug it back in. And you see this one here, it puts it in a box, so it's like the actual screen size. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but as well as that, there's also scaling 720p scaling 960 times 544 which is the PSV screen resolution I'll click apply there and then immediately I'm going to unplug this again and then plug it back in and that's what that looks like so it looks basically the same to me I can't really tell much difference um, and then there's one more thing I want to try, and that's um, putting this back onto scaling real, I mean scaling full. And then I want to try entering PSTV emulation mode. The idea being from in PSTV emulation mode that it will basically be like having a PlayStation TV. So. Okay, let's do that, and then let's make sure it's have reset so activation works. So now, after this boots, I'm going to pair my controller. Come on, pair piece! Pair piece isn't being a very good demonstration. Okay, it wasn't, didn't like me that time. Let me try that again. Oh, now it connects. First try. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna play a game now, and it should be much easier to control now for me because I have to look at the screen more controlling the reader, so, um,. Maybe you can see a bit better gameplay now. I'm controlling this with my controller this time. apparently so. Uh, let's try again.
So yeah, you can play this as if it's a PS TV, or if you prefer, you can even play it as a Vito. And yeah, if I had a capture card, I would show you direct capture, but I don't. I also don't know if this is HTCP um, protected. Again, don't have a capture card. Can't really check that. Um, but yeah, it basically works how you'd expect. It works just like on a PS TV. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Do 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 do